some would argue that's still the mentality Absolutely. that police protect and serve others, but they police. They patrol us. us. Yeah, <laughs> patrol us to keep us in our place. Right. And so the courts are a big part of this too. And we're officers of the court, us lawyers, turns a blind eye when they see these abuses of uh, and violations of the constitutional rights. Right. And so that's the first thing, this intellectual justification of discrimination. Mm. And we have to understand that. Uh, they have this prison industrial complex and they're trying to supply it with black and brown bodies. Legalized slavery. Exactly. Slavery. And so if it's some uh, unforeseen occurrences that happen, like you might get killed while the police are doing their job, they say that's part of it. But this prison industrial complex is a real thing. Is a real thing because it supports all these multi-billion dollar corporations. Wow. And so you look at that as a understanding the court perspective on this, and then you look number two at the power of the police unions. Right. The fact mm -hmm. that in this situation they allege that Brianna's boyfriend shot a police. So in their mind, the worst thing ever can happen is that a black person or a person of color actually shoot a police because that is their thing. I don't care what the circumstances are, Nick. They say we cannot have that happening in America. It's okay for us to kill them, but for them to shoot back, they will not allow that. And so they don't want to allow, I believe, justice in this case because it's going to say her boyfriend did the right thing in trying to protect his woman and their yeah. castle for right. people who they thought were burglars.